welcome back to the channel. So what you're looking at here is what is called R5 Reloaded. Now, we're probably asking the question, why is it called R5 Reloaded? Well, Titanfall 2 was called R2. R5 is Apex Legends. I don't know why that naming convention exists, but I do know why R5 Reloaded is called Reloaded, because it is just a modded version of Apex Legends. It has various scripts. We're gonna cover what this looks like. We're gonna discuss it, why it's here, and kind of break it down. So let's discuss first how you install it. So let's break that down. Here's an interesting fact. It took me a really long time to actually download R5 Reloaded because at one point it was very, very difficult to install. And it took a bit of a process, in my opinion. I was just overwhelmed. I was like, I don't get it. I don't understand it. Recently, it has become a lot easier to do. When you click download, it gives you a zip file. So I'm going to click download now and it gives you this tutorial. So let's just do the launcher. So you download this launcher and you install it onto your computer and go boom. And all of a sudden there it is. So in your upper right, you download it. It has this widget and you just click next, click next, click next. It's pretty straightforward and easy. Even for somebody as stupid as I am or dumb. I'm not trying to dog on myself too much, but listen, if I can do it, I think you guys can do it because I, I struggle sometimes now. Where the interesting part is here is what you have to do is make sure you have your game installed via the EA app. Okay, the EA app is an important step because you can't do this through Steam. It's important that you have that. So what you do once you have everything installed, you make sure that you have, because you're, what you're doing is you're updating a previous version of the game. So you don't want to reuse files. You need to do a clean install of all files. So putting in a different spot, different location is ideal. So step one, you download the R5 launcher from above, you open it and you just do the executable and just hit install. It's pretty straightforward. Once you install, you click launch APAC. So this is what it looks like once you launch it, right? You get this little thing. It's pretty straightforward. You don't need to click into advanced options. I don't really see the value. There's a discord, you know, there's a YouTube. You just click launch APAC and then it launches the game. And that's why after this dark screen, it's gonna transition, boom, there it is. And then it launches here. Now there's a few little things I'm gonna give you a tip on, okay? One, I don't recommend you use it your main account. Because technically, I guess you could say this is a breach of terms of service, which is why everyone always uses an alt account. I don't know anybody who has been banned. This is definitely a gray area, but you are just playing an old version of the game. You actually can't play the battle royale itself, but all you can do, and you're probably asking yourself, why in the world would I even install this? Well, it's got some interesting features that we're going to break down, such as like an aim trainer, you know, a... Uh, isolate area to 1v1 each other and it does have TDM, but the main game has TDM now, which is way better anyway. So why would you do it in R5? And so we're gonna break that down. I th I'm gonna focus more on the aim training aspect where it gives you an isolated area. While the test range is good, I think this gives you a little bit more versatility and flexibility that can help you improve. So now again, reminder, I have an alt account here. This is what I use for R5. Uh, don't use your main account because just in case it does get banned, I have never heard a story of it getting banned. I've seen his Watson utilize this for events, and that's why you saw on the website, such as, you know, these weird, interesting mods. Now, these are a little bit crazier. You'll see movement courses. You'll see all kinds of stuff. This depends on what you put together, but what I'm going to cover again, is just like the basis on why somebody would install this, even if you're not scripting or do anything like that. All right, so let's break that down. So now that we've launched it, you click launch and then it goes through the EA, I guess, app. Once the game is installed, I didn't really have to do anything. And then boom, here it is. It just kind of launched. It didn't seem like I had any problems. Now, what you need to do is make sure you update all your settings just as you would normally for Apex Legends because everything's going to be put on default. So make sure you put your ideal settings. Anything that is new in the current game won't be here. So such as new legends, new guns, new maps, they're not located here because what you're playing is an older build and an older version of the game. Okay, so let's break down some of the more simplistic stuff. You can free roam around the map so you can learn it. That can be helpful, but you can't do it on any of the new ones. Okay, just understand that. You got some other stuff to kind of look at like KC and these other maps, but realistically, it's not going to do you too much good, but it could be helpful by moving around and trying to learn some movement tech, but that is available to you. Okay, that was pretty straightforward. The one I want to focus on primarily today is the aim trainer. Now, all you got to do once you want to do this is you click ready and you go into it. Don't worry. We're going to explain the server stuff as well, but I kind of want to do a high level overview because I think this is where you'll live most of the time and your experience in, well, R5 reloaded. So that's kind of our goal for today. I've been using this a little bit. I don't use it too extensively, but I think where I live most is just kind of the aim trainer. So you have settings. Now you can change the weapon. Remember I said you don't have any of the new guns. You're going to notice like where is the the car right well it's not here because this is an older version of the game but i mean the basis of what you're trying to learn you want to learn let's say the r99 change your attachments on that let's say you put laser sight boom 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 and then you can change your secondary okay 
But for this example, we're going to use the R99. Now you can change your character. Keep in mind, all you got is the base ones. You're not going to have anything extra on that. But that's not the point. You're using this for name training. You can change the dummies to have red armor. You can change their strafe speed. We can do for normal. You can change their distance. You can change if they want them to be invincible targets. You can hit auto reload on kit hit or kill. You can change the HUD just a little bit. Now play as a dummy. I mean, I don't know why you want that infinite training. If you just want to keep shooting endlessly and you can change the duration if you want. Now out of that side of that, you look at history. This is whenever you aim trained. It seems like it wipes pretty often. No, it's nothing too crazy there. And then you have all these, what you call scenarios. Okay. Kind of like a normal aim training for playing aim lab, Kovax. But if you're on controller, this gives you a more flexibility because at least it feels more one-to-one, -one, right? So let's say you just want to do a strafing dummy. Some of these will avoid the rules that you have, but at this point now, boom, now, now you have an aim trainer, essentially, you know, you got a target that's in front of you. If you want to reload, you have that option that is available to you, but your goal here is just to kind of practice, move around and it just keeps spawning. You can finish the challenge. You can wrap it up. You go to the main menu and stuff like shooting out of Valkyl. Like keep in mind, you don't have vantage here, right? You don't have the new legends like boom. Now you can practice on what that feels like, right? And you have various other options here, such as even a, a weird tile frenzy, kind of like what we had it before in game. But now you can do this where you're feeling the, the what you're trying to simulate here is a recoil pattern and the feeling of a gun right so then you have a more one-to-one -one ratio you have popcorn targets things that are flying up in the air i highly suggest you come in here this is just like a base package and it's super easy you know it's just kind of endless just shooting and getting used to that that recoil and getting used to hitting targets and practicing and that's what you're looking for here it's just another way to practice this is a tool set i want to give to all of you guys by just explaining it it's i didn't make this i didn't do it i'm just explaining the tools for you guys you can thank the developer whoever put this together um, you know, they have their credentials there and I'm just kind of talking freeform here, but it's really cool I, I think that this is, is so well done and is the intent is really just to help other players, right? And I, I encourage you to practice your grenades we practice these different scenarios Now what we're gonna do now is we're gonna exit the trainer whenever you exit you go to the main game again Quote-unquote the main screen right now we hit play again You have the free roam you have these top servers that are listed here and you have our movement gems you have TDM, free for all, and 1v1. I'm gonna cover these two because they're the most popular ones, right? But you also have servers. Now servers are listed here and you can host your one. Now I'll let you go through the steps if you wanna dive deeper. I'm going to explain this from a casual perspective on just simply joining things, right? And, and just keeping it real bare bones for all of us and keeping it very, very simple, okay? The reason why, again, you wanna alt account, it doesn't matter what skins you have here. You're just training and practicing, okay? Now. The 1v1s will showcase what they look like. A movement gym is pretty cool because you have a lot of options here to practice your movement tech. You know, more so outside of the range, if you want to kind of pressure it, you want to do a little bit more refinement on your movement, this is a great way to learn it, especially because everything from the base game hasn't really changed since the current season that you're looking at. I think there's a lot here. I haven't even explored the absolute depths of it, but there is a lot that you can do here. And there's other servers that have various options of what you can set up. You know, it's it's got nice cinematics. It's well put together. Here's the, the a group of people who put all this passion and work behind it. It's it's brilliant. It's well done. It's you can tell a lot of love was put into it. If you run into any bugs, you might crash occasionally. You see how there's a server. Other people are hopping in. It's definitely a public thing. So just kind of keep that in mind. You know, it's a, it's one of those things that it's uh it's gonna be a little buggy it's not perfect. You know, mantle jump map. You know, you can see that here. Oh, let's hop into that. Right now you got a mantle jump. You know, I think this is really cool. So then you got, um, oh, did I remove my <laughs> interact key? I guess I removed my interact key. So, I mean, if you miss those things, remember to update them. I'm surprised that I uh, missed that. Wow, that's that's interesting. I can't believe I missed that. All right, then you, uh, you know, then you go for the mantle jump. If you miss it, then I guess it is what it is. And this is a good way to practice, right? Hey, there we go. Then you fly. Good practice, but you keep doing it over and over and over and over. Yeah, I can't with the server as it is. Maybe it's me. You see, there are people that have problems. You know, it, it it it's not perfect, but that's okay. It's it's free. Enjoy it. There's some settings you can click on it. You can summon things. There's there's. I encourage you to play around with this. I have not even explored the depths 
of this map. Notice what it's doing is it's just simply teleporting you across the different areas of the map that somebody has set this up. So don't be shy and go explore and go have a little bit of fun. This is the one I've explored the least amount, by the way. I've spent more time in the aim trainers and also the 1v1. So the next one I'm going to showcase to you guys is the 1v1. So you got the movement gym. The TDM, the reason I'm not exploring this is because TDM exists in the main game. So I'm like, it doesn't really hold as much value for me. Now the next one is the 1v1s. 1v1s are a little interesting here in how they work. I ran into a few bugs when I was explaining this before. I'm just going to lose over and over again. This is not really trying to... Oh, it's full. There's some downsides to this, okay? If you end up in a European server, there is a lot of hit reg issues, okay? That's just normal. It doesn't have the same net code as I guess you would say as I guess the main Apex game. So it's going to be a little hit or miss. If it doesn't queue right away, they're going to have to find a server. If you're in Europe and you are finding maybe a server in Japan or elsewhere located, because I know they list like J Japan where they're located, that ping does affect things. So keep that in mind. And it may not be as positive of an experience. Now, you do have to wait for players to kind of populate in. They do. And you all are Wraith, essentially. So... You can uh, start spectating, can rest, and then it'll just spawn you in. And then pretty much, uh, sometimes it spawns you the wrong way. Okay, there we go. So all you gotta do is just pretty much 1v1, and then if you whiff, you whiff. See how there's a, what, what is my ping at? What is going on here? Uh, Cause I know there's a little lag, but then that ping does make a bit of a difference. And then um, the attachments you get are random. Yeah, you see how I'm like having like horrible hit reg? I don't know, I gotta check my ping, so let's see here. 155 yeah it is not going to be a good experience for me so the time of day does matter for this is why i say focus on the aim trainer sometimes if you i have had this happen where I've, i'm looking the wrong way i feel bad for this guy he's like why is he barely shooting at me how come he's barely trying i don't understand what's going on and you see the bit of the lag but this is just the bad example okay this happens it's going to leave because i'm ruining their their training experience essentially if you spawn the wrong way just reload and start over and try to look for a server that is more located around your area you can't see the ping but you can at least see the region there's some interesting ones in here such as lg duels which i think are really interesting where that's called lightning gun if you ever played quake um, I encourage you to try these out. Again, your experience is going to vary. Mileage is going to vary. It's not going to be perfect. It's going to, it'll let you know if you're facing off against somebody who's on roller or on mouse and keyboard and kind of bounce accordingly sometimes. And yeah, you're just constantly 1v1ing. And that's pretty much our five reload is very simple. It's not as crazy as one may think, but it's, it's effective. It's effective, ladies and gentlemen. Hopefully this was helpful for you and learning. Let's see if I get dumpstered. Yeah, I'm going to get dumpstered. It is what it is. A lot of people in here are very, very good. I don't know why I switched to that. Doing a melee. Oh, GG's. Okay, and then we back out. A lot of people spend a lot of time in this, by the way. And I haven't warmed up, but it's a great warm up. So if you want to warm up, this is your best way to do it. Guys, if this was helpful, now you know how to install it. You understand what's in here, some of the aim training tools. If you are. I'm sure if you are well more advanced in scripting and doing this, you can take this an even step further. That's not the point of this video. This is your introduction. This is a basic introduction to what R5 Reloaded is. Thank you guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video and I'll see you guys all in the next one.